Welcome to MMA Dogs. My name is Hector. This is my dog Dan. What's up, guys? And today we have a very special report coming to you live from the mecca of MMA, the home of the US, the UFC, in the Las Vegas Strip. Here we got the Mandalay Bay behind us, and we're gonna be breaking down the main event at UFC 156: Jose Aldo versus Frankie Edgar. Frankie Edgar's first fight at 145. It's so kind of a super fight here, and uh, we can't wait to break this one down for you guys. Uh, first, I want to thank you guys, uh, ask you guys to leave a comment, subscribe to our channel, tell us where you're from, that way we get a nice discussion, worldwide discussion uh, going. Check out our social media if you're into that, check out our webpage, and uh, by subscribing, you just get an automatic email, you know, no spam, just letting you know that, hey, we, we upload a new video, check it out. And then on our website, you can see all our percentages and our accuracy and how dependable, you know, we are on our picks. And... Uh, you know, we'll just dive right straight into it. Main event, UFC 156. Uh, let's take a look first at Jose Aldo's last two fights. So, last fight, he defended his uh, featherweight title against Chad Mendes. A knockout, a KO knee to Chad Mendes in the four, four minutes and 59 seconds into the end of the round. So, just one second left in that first round. One of my favorite fights of all time. And then, uh, Kenny Florian, he... Uh, Jose Aldo beat him via decision. Now let's take a look at Frankie Edgar's last fight. Now Frankie Edgar's last fight was at 155, so it was a split decision loss to Ben Henderson. And the fight before that was a unanimous loss to uh, Ben Henderson. So with this particular fight here, um, you know, with Frankie Edgar... It's his first time fighting at 145, so we don't know... We can try and guess and say, but well, how is the weight gut going to affect his performance? So Frankie Edgar was obviously on the smaller side at 155. Probably the fastest 155 pound fighter. So by him cutting down to 145, he's going to be going up against guys more of his size, but also more of his speed. So that's a, what's going to happen here? There's really no history of him fighting there. So... What's going to happen here? What is, what is going to happen? And then the other thing, how is the, the, the cut down going to, uh, for his wrestling, for, for, his, for not only his speed, but also his wrestling? Jose Aldo does not fare well against guys who can get their hands on him. Now, obviously, Chad Mendez was a wrestler, and he wanted to do it, and we saw what he did to him. It's just an awesome fight for Jose Aldo in Brazil, you know, just getting that awesome. Then one of my all-time favorite uh, things that happened after that fight, going into the crowd and the whole crowd picking him up and everything. But Frank Yeager, man, you can never count that guy out. You can hit him with, with, with a two-by-four. You can hit him with this. You can hit him with that. And he just keeps coming back. Yeah, yeah. He keeps coming back. He keeps coming back. So you can never count out Frank Yeager. But the big, the, big, the big cloud over our heads, the big cloud over the Las Vegas, Mandalay Bay, when this fight takes place, is going to be... How is this weight cut going to affect Frankie Edgar? His whole, his whole, his whole, all his attributes as a fighter, everything he brings to, to the octagon. Whereas with Jose Aldo, you know, I mean, oh man, this guy is just a beast. He's one of those. He's one of those exceptions for me. When I look at all the champs, Cain Velasquez, newly crowned uh, heavyweight champion of the world, wrestler. Johnny Bones Jones, a wrestler. Uh, Anderson Silva, an exception. Uh, GSP, a wrestler. Uh, ben Henderson, a wrestler. So all these guys have all this wrestling. And we get to Jose Aldo, an excellent striker, right? Excellent striker. So uh, with, with this fight camp that he's got going in Brazil, uh, you know, with, with him, with uh, Andres Pineris, uh hopefully I'm saying that name right, Andres Pineris over there in, in Brazil. Man, I really like that team a lot. You know, they've got a really good group of fighters down there. Really smart. They got uh, Honey Marks, Honey Marks up down there with the wrestling. They, so these Brazilians, you know, they're, they're really taking care of the wrestling. And I'm really impressed by that. I really like to see that because they realize the striking game is sick. The jiu-jitsu is sick. Now let's get a wrestling, right? Because it's very important. So uh, I really like what I see from that. Now with that being said, Jose Aldo. Jose Aldo for the pick. Jose Aldo, uh, three-star. <sighs> Frankie Edgar gets hit a lot. And although I really like him, I really like this, you know, little guy going in there, he's just a big heart, big chin, but he gets hit too much. And when Jose Aldo hits you, ask Chad Mendes, you know, ask Chad Mendes what happened. I know the other history of Mark Kalamik, I know all that, but, but I mean, this guy is just, just, I mean, this guy is just a human striking machine. I mean, he's just incredible. So I gotta go with Jose Aldo. I'm going to go by, by knockout TKO. Three star, because, because we don't know. 
Frankie Edgar, how's his weight cut going to affect him? So we'll have to wait and see. But uh, as far as betting strategy goes, I would not parlay this fight. I would just do a straight bet. With that question, big question in mind, I'm still going to pick Aldo because of what I just said. But do not parlay. Straight bet. Uh, what do you got for him, Doc? Yeah, this fight, I agree with my dog. I, I say I actually think it, it's, it's, a, it's a pretty good bet, but I'm not going to go above three stars on this one either. Um, for pretty much the same reasons as, uh, as you just said. First things first, this fight was supposed to happen at UFC 153 in Brazil. Jose Aldo crashed in his motorcycle. Still felt fine, but he had later had uh, problems, I think, with a fracture or something on his on his leg or his knee or some something. I didn't really look into it. He said he felt fine, but, you know, it's kind of like the Dan Henderson fight uh, that was supposed to happen right here also, where he felt fine and he really tried to make it, make it, and then eight days before the fight, they canceled the event. So... They had, to, they had to postpone this fight, and um, they had to bring in the Spider and Bonner to, to save that card. But with, with, um, with the fight happening here now, not on Jose Aldo's home turf, it's kind of like, well, and then Jose Aldo not fighting in a year because of the injury. Um, I just uh, And Frankie Edgar uh, coming off two back-to-back -back losses to Ben Henderson, and uh, he looked arguably better in his fight, uh, in his last fight against Ben Henderson, than when he lost the belt to him in, in Japan uh, back in back yeah. last last February. Yep. So, but you have to look at also like this, Frankie Edgar, his his chin has really been questionable in his in three of his last four fights. I mean, Gray Maynard nearly knocked him out twice, and then Ben Henderson like up kicked him with the foot, almost knocked him out in the first fight. So, yeah. and then you gotta you gotta think about like this: is, is Frankie Edgar gonna handle the weight cut like uh, like Dennis Seaver has been doing? And, and just going in there, taking down Diego Nunes and beating up Nam Fan, or are we going to see a guy take a weight cut like Ross Pearson and Charles Charles Oliveira and go in there and get knocked out? Now both those guys got knocked out by a featherweight named Cub Swanson. Look what Jose Aldo did to Cub Swanson in just eight seconds. Good point, so, dog. Good point. It's really yeah. tough. It's really tough to pick this one. And here's check this out. Dennis Seaver made that weight cut, and he went up against. Eh, I mean, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and then, and then you take a look at Frankie Edgar, and they're throwing him right, right into, right yeah. into the toughest 145 in the world. That actually yeah. builds up my confidence. Thinking about this, talking about this, talking it over here with you guys. Um, think about that for a minute. So he not only does he have to make the weight cut, and I understand that Frankie Edgar is on the smaller side, so it's not really going to be a typical weight cut for him, but it is going to be a totally different speed. So the speed that he got used to with Gray Maynard, you know, it's going to be a totally different speed against Jose Aldo. If Gray Maynard could connect. What is Jose Aldo and, and do? nearly finish the fight twice. What is Jose Aldo gonna do? And then, I mean, and then it's like, really, this is yeah. this is, believe it or not, I don't even know if this this got to be some kind of record. I think for Frankie Edgar not having the belt in every fight, this is gonna be his seventh consecutive very title good. fight. Excellent fighter, Frankie Edgar. Excellent fighter. This guy seventh you know, from consecutive New title fight. Run. BJ Penn twice beat him. <sighs> Great Maynard twice and. uh you know, recovered from the first one, draw, and a fight that I actually thought he won, yeah. and then knocked him out. Yeah. And then Ben Henderson, two title fights after that. So this one, I, I just feel like, uh, yeah, Gray Maynard and uh, uh, is an excellent wrestler, and, and he couldn't beat he couldn't beat Frankie Edgar. Um, ben Henderson did, uh, but it was it was kind of close in the first two. Uh, so with this one, I feel like wrestling is not going to play a part. But you can't you can't ignore the fact that Aldo is coming off injury. Not fighting in a year, supposed to be fighting in Brazil, and it's like, yeah, he knocked out Mendez, but he gassed against Hominick and uh, and uh, Kenny Florian, and so if he doesn't finish the fight early, is he, could he take the decision? He could, he could, and I'll and I'll give him I'll give him credit for it, uh, for being the champion, but you never know, Frank Yeager might come out guns blazing like we saw Cain Velasquez do with Junior Dos Santos. I mean. Now it, it could be complete. Could totally throw him off rhythm right away. So we have no idea what to expect coming off two losses. But then again, the weight cut. We have no idea if Frank Yeager can go five rounds and, mm -hmm. and recover after what, how, how many times he's been hit. Now, if I'm in Frank Yeager's corner and and let's say you know I'm telling him what to do, I would say Frank Yeager, go in there and wrestle the guy. You know. It's not going to be the most popular opinion. It's not going to get people hyped to hooch up, and it's going to, it's a G, I would say a GSP type of game plan. Go in there wrestling. That's his path to victory. That's what I see for Frankie Edgar with Jose Aldo. 
takedown defense, which I'm sure he's working on down there with, uh, you know, the excellent team that they've got. And, you know, get your hands on the guy, hit him, because, I mean, if Gray Maynard, like I said, could do that, I mean, what do you think Jose Aldo's going to do? So for Frankie, though, he's got to go in there, wrestle him like Velasquez just did. And here's the other thing I was thinking about. So in under two months, under two months, are we really going to see two Brazilians lose their belt in Las Vegas? I mean, I mean, come, I mean, it, imagine, imagine that. Now, here's the interesting thing: both these guys are known for their stand-up. Uh, Junior dos Santos Cigano and Jose Aldo, they're known for their stand-up. Velasquez, a wrestler, Frankie Edgar, uh, you know, wrestler, his path to victory. But are we really going to see that, or are we going to see something along the lines of what we saw with Anderson Silva versus Chael Sun in wrestling? And uh, you know, first time getting submitted, and the second time getting knocked out easily, handily. So it could be one of those fights where we watch it and we're like, we just see Frankie Edgar go down and being knocked out in the first in the first round, second round, or we could see Frankie Edgar just grab onto him, rush him on the mother rim and do this and do that. So, but uh, you brought up a good point with that up kick, dog. I was even thinking about that up kick. I mean, that up kick rocked him. Oh, you almost see him go down. So uh, Jose Aldo still confident with him, and, and uh, you know that's my uh, my opinion there. What do you, what do you think? Yeah, dog? just I, the reason uh, I probably already said this, but I'm gonna say it again. The reason we can't say higher than three stars is because of the layoff, because of the injury, because of the non-home uh, field advantage for the champ that was originally supposed to be in Brazil again. Um, I, I'm really excited to see this, but Frankie Edgar uh, in Las Vegas, uh, he, he for me, for yeah, me, just, for me, it's the wrestling. So, so, so uh, Frankie Edgar has got the distinct advantage for wrestling. We both agree on that. Yeah. Frankie Edgar's heart. I mean, this guy, there's no quitting this guy. He's just going, going, going. His chin. He can take a lot of punishment. A lot of punishment. But ben how Henderson, long can that last? How long can it last? Ben Henderson, that's true. That's a good point. Ben Henderson, what a beast this guy is. I mean, just, just a beast. We saw what he just did to uh, Diaz. I mean, this guy's just a beast. But here's the problem with that. Frankie Edgar gets hit too much. For my comfort, to pick him, not only that, but it's against Jose Aldo, one of the best strikers in the world. So, there you have it. Yeah. Last thoughts? Yeah, Last I, thoughts? I, I absolutely think we're going to see a first or second round. TK, yeah. probably not a knockout. It's not going to be not a, a flush knockout. Flush knockout. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be like the uh, the Gray Maynard fights. Frank Gehr gets hit. It's going to take a barrage of punches. Yeah, it's, it's probably going to take off. It's probably gonna take more than uh, than what, what Jose Aldo did to Chad Menez, unless, unless... Uh, uh, Josie Alder repeats what he did Chad in his coach Swanson where he just puts him out with the knee then it might just take a few a little little bit of yeah. but I think it's going to take a lot of, yeah. of Josie Alder and, and, I, and I really think he's going to finish Frankie Edgar um, in the first or second round and still stands a chance at a close decision being the champion but um, but Frankie Edgar uh, if, you, if you're going to win this fight you, you got to go in there and wrestle him and you got you to you gotta, you gotta, you gotta go in there with the same game plan uh, Cain Velasquez uh, had and that's to uh, be aggressive right from the start because if you let Jose Aldo find his rhythm, you're not gonna be able to finish him later in the round, later in the later round probably, and uh, and he's probably gonna squeak away with the decision. Yeah, and even and even if he does go in there and performs that perfect game plan, even if he does go in there, everything goes Frank Yetter's way, everything, everything, the whole game plan. There is still that vulnerability vulnerability with uh, with Jose Aldo. Landing a punch, a kick, a knee, an elbow, something that could knock out Edgar. There's still that shot. And that's with all the perfect stars aligned and everything going his way. There's still that possibility. So, you know, that's that's why we're going Aldo. Um, any last thoughts here, Doug, before we wrap um, up? No, that's it. So, uh, the fight, UFC 156, all the rest of the cards, we're going to be here. Uh, we're going to be staying at the Luxor next door uh, for this fight when it happens downstairs uh, here at the Mandalay Bay. And uh, we're really excited for this fight, and uh, and we can't wait. Yeah, yeah. So thank you guys for for watching. You know, worldwide, we really appreciate it. Leave a comment. Leave what what your uh, what your prediction is. What your thoughts on the fight are. Whether you agree or disagree, you know, that's fine too. Whether you're a huge Jose Aldo fan, cool. Whether you're a Frankie Edgar fan, awesome. You know, we really want to hear it. We really want to know what you got, what you guys have to say, what you guys think about it, and then uh, you know what your opinion is on the whole betting strategy aspect of it too. And it's kind of fun to talk about that. And, uh, you know, obviously the lines change, so take, we'll take a look at that. Um, if you're into social media, check out our, our Facebook and Twitter. You know, you can like that if, if, if you'd like. You can follow us on Twitter. Um, if you want to get an email update, just letting you know, you know, no, no spam, just a simple email update, MMA Dogs. Just put a new video up, check it out. You can do that. Subscribe by doing that. Um, 
and then also by liking the, the video, you know, that'll get some more exposure and that all that good stuff. But, uh, we, you know, most of all, I just want to thank you guys for watching and, and all the positive feedback we've had and all that, all that good stuff. So, so thank you guys, you know, live from, from Las Vegas, special report here, the, the home of the UFC, the Mecca of MMA. Uh, thank you guys for watching and a happy new year. Yeah, happy new year, guys. We'll see you next time.